okay so in this video let's uh, take a step back and do some refactorings okay so the first thing that we need to refactor the first page is pages and then index.php but before we do that let's create a folder called um, includes inside of our base folder here so let's do includes and in there we're going to move in the config and the functions.php so that um, they don't um, clutter up the main folder here for simple php cms so i'm going to take this and just move it to includes so now as you can see it's inside of this folder here called um, config and i've in sorry includes not config so let's just close these two here so now as you can see we can open them from um, includes here but let's refactor these parts here since now they are wrong they're not just inside of um, this base uh, folder here they're inside um, forward slash includes and then um, you'll have config and likewise for functions so let's say includes and then forward slash functions dot php okay so we're gonna have to go to um, process login and do the same there so right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say includes forward slash config dot php and same here and the reason why i'm not adding this directory here underscore underscore dir we could do it and it would still work but um, since the includes folder here is in the same level as process login, we didn't need to do that. If it was a different level, then we might need to do it, okay? But likewise, let's just put it there just to show that it still works, okay? Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create header and footer files so that we do not have to be duplicating the contents like this here and for the index as well, okay? So let's create instead of includes a file called header.php and another one called footer php okay so let's come to uh, our home page here so we're going to just cut um the part from this container here right up until the html so we're just going to do a cut and then just come to edit.php and paste it in there so i'm going to save so let's just up, um, change this part here so it's relative to the um, website so by adding a slash there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a require once of that header file okay so let's do underscore underscore dir actually it's not needed since if you remember in the index page it's the same um folder level as includes we can just do includes forward slash header dot php okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come to this um lower part here just before the closing body tag there's one div there so just cut all of that so all you need to cut is right after the form in index.php um, for the home page okay so just cut it and then paste it inside of footer here okay and then save it so now let's come to the bottom part here and let's do a require statement there as well so that we get the footer on the home page so i'm gonna do require once um, includes forward slash footer dot php okay so now let's come to the top part here and just um, change that a bit as well so since we put the in for functions of php inside includes we're gonna have to add an includes there okay or else we'll get an error so now let's refactor um the pages index page so that it makes use of the header and footer as well okay so since it's this part that we um put in the header um the php includes file here let's delete that okay so we're gonna do uh let's actually just come to here since we already included that in index.php login page let's just paste that in at the top here let's remove this part as well and now we're just going to paste um, the same one here and change this header to footer and then now let's just adjust the parts so that it can find um, those files okay so we do underscore underscore dir underscore underscore so we just remove this we have to append it to the um, directory um, constant okay so we do as s dot dot forward slash we come to the header part here and then we do the same so that directory constant we just append that to the includes uh, part string so forward slash dot dot forward slash just like this okay so we save that and then head over to our browsers so now let's um, see that the pages page works um, okay okay so as you can see now it's making use of the included header and footer file okay Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to um, the home page here by removing this in the URL okay so now everything works fine all right so we don't need to do one more refactoring which has to do with the database the way we're retrieving it because right now we are um, 
duplicating a lot of code. So what I want to do is I want to create a class inside of um, functions.php. So I'm going to do class and a class name would be db and it won't extend anything. But um, in the arguments here, we just return, uh, remove this constructor function because we won't need it. The class will only have one um, static function there. So let's say public static function and then get connection. I'll show you why we created a static uh, function here and then the class will have one property which is private uh, static connection okay so this is where we store on um, the PDO connection so anytime this function is called we want to check if this um, connection property is not set if not self that's how you access um, static property self connection if the connection is not set then we want to create a new connection string so uh, actually we want to create a connection but we need a connection string first and the connection string is the same format as this so let's just copy that in the find user here and paste it so next we want to say self colon colon connection we need a dollar sign there equals to new pdo as usual that is the same format as um, the new pdo we've been doing all along okay so let's just save some time and I'm just going to copy that, paste it here. Okay. So basically anytime we need a new connection now, we can just say um, call this get connection uh, function here. So last, let's just return um, that connection there. So let's return self colon colon connection. Okay. So basically what's going to happen, we're not going to be creating a connection all the time. When we call get connection, it's going to check. Has a connection been previously set by saying, um, checking, doing this check here? If it is not true, if a connection has not been set, then it's going to come in and create a connection and store it inside connections here. So the next time we call the function, then this will not be called this block here. It's just return as the connection. Okay. So let's just refactor this code a little bit right um, down here. Instead of creating a new connection now, all we need to do is say PDO equal to this class up here which is db so we say db colon colon connection or get connection okay so we're just calling that and storing it in the pdo property here so let's just scroll down and see anywhere that we're creating a new connection we just do that so right here as well let's remove this get connection string so inside of pdo let's just call db colon colon get connection okay and just call that function so now we have refactored and made our code a little bit cleaner let's see if still the functionality works the same okay so i'm going to refresh and now let me log in and see validation still works so lamin and then my password so i'm going to log in and it's this everything works fine and it shows us that um the refactoring hasn't broken anything so one last thing we need to do is i realized that um we call the validation um function here return login error but um, let's make that a bit more general. Let's not, um, because we're going to be displaying errors on many pages that are not login related. So let's say return page error. Let's change that function here to return page error. Now come back to the functions.php and um, find where return login error is set and just refactor that and change it to return page error as well. Okay, so now let's go to our login page and let's see if uh, validation still works. As you can see, validation still works. So everything is intact. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this video, wherein we refactored some files to make our code a bit more organized and easy to follow. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. And please subscribe uh, to my channel if you really like the video. So I'll keep continue making them and they will always be free. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.